Ontario Green Party leader Mike Schreiner appears to be considering a uh, move to join the Liberals for one of the party's leadership. This comes after an appeal from a list of Liberal insiders who are looking to rebuild after two crushing election defeats. Uh, Mike Schreiner joins us now live this afternoon here on CB24 Live at Noon. Good to speak to you, Mr. Schreiner. Thanks for joining us. I would ask if this is a bolt from the blue, but is this more of a bolt from the red? Did you know this was coming? No, I learned about this letter. I read it for the first time on Sunday morning. And you know what people have been telling me, Nick, is we need bold action to push back against the Ford government, destroying some of what we really cherish in Ontario, our public health care, the green belt, the farmland that feeds us, that we need urgent action on the climate crisis. It's these issues that are my ambition to put forward. I'm doing that as the leader of the Ontario Green Party. On Sunday, I had a group of Liberals reach out to me, challenging me to think about doing politics differently, to look at ways that... We might work together on some shared issues around building a caring, connected, climate-ready Ontario. And my response is that I need to talk to people. I especially need to consult with my constituents in Guelph. I need to consult with my friends and colleagues in the Green Movement. I need to talk to people across Ontario about how I can best advance the issues that I care about and they care about at Queen's Park. Does the job itself have any appeal to you, though, as to be the leader, instead of the leader of the Green Party, the leader of the Ontario Liberal Party? You know, Nick, my ambition really is to put forward the issues that I've been fighting for as the leader of the Ontario Green Party, doubling social assistance rates, taking urgent action on the climate crisis, addressing housing affordability, expanding mental health services, and I'm looking to consult with people about what's the best way that I can advance these issues for them at Queen's Park. Uh, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of reaction to this over the last, you know, day and a half or so, Mr. Schreiner, and it's really intriguing. On the one hand, you have the sort of camp of 20 or so liberals who've, who've come to you saying, please, you know, come kind of help bail us out, almost like lead us uh, potentially to the future. And on the flip side, there are a lot of uh, liberals, whether they're even considering a run of the job or just generally upset at the notion of bringing in another party leader to lead the party. What have you heard from, from, from that side? Not the people necessarily inviting you, but from the people who are saying... Where is this coming from, and, and how do you respond to them when they say, why you? Well, I've seen a lot of different responses. I've had some people say, you know, this won't work. I've had other people say, yes, Mike is uh, the person we need to lead Ontario. But what most people have said, at least in response to what I have said, is that, you know, it's really refreshing to have a politician say, I'm going to consult with people in an open and transparent way. I'm going to ask people for advice. Uh, especially my constituents in Guelph and especially my colleagues in, in the Green Movement and just people in general across the province about how I can best move forward the issues they care about. And as I consult with folks over the next few days, um, I will be guided in the decision I make around how I can best fight for the Ontario I know so many people want. Oh, so when you talk about consulting over the next few days, does that mean we may have an answer from you by the end of the week? You know, Nick, I haven't uh, come up with a timeline at all, to be quite honest. I want to make sure I take the time to really have conversations with people. I mean, there's so many folks out there saying that, you know, we need to do politics differently in a way that addresses issues like the climate crisis, housing affordability, expanding mental health services, ending legislated poverty. And I want to talk to them about the ways that I can best advance those issues at Queen's Park on their behalf. You know, I'm not sort of, this isn't my opinion, but it's just, I think, fact that a lot of people suggest that you, as the Green Party leader, leader of a party of one, have done a pretty good job of advancing issues considering the position you're in, you know, a party of one versus, you know, other more mainstream or established liberal parties. What is your assessment of the current Liberal Party of Ontario? You know, the last two elections, they haven't even come up with, you know, you know legitimate party status here. How do, you, how do you look at that party right now, and what do you see from the outside, as it were, as the Green Party leader right now? Yeah, well, what I see from the letter that was sent to me on Sunday morning, I see a at least a portion of the Liberal Party saying, hey, let's think about doing politics differently. Let's think about how we can best position Ontario to push back against some of the destructive parts of the Ford government, especially when it comes to public health care, the Green Belt, and protecting our farmland. And let's reach out to somebody who has spent his career at Queen's Park saying, let's do politics differently, working with a fantastic green team to advance some issues. 
that um, we share. And so I want to open that conversation. Uh, I want to hear the feedback that people have. And quite frankly, you know, in addition to hearing from, from Greens, I need to hear from Liberals. But most importantly, I need to hear from people across the province about how, you know, I can m best make a difference on the issues that they care about. In terms of green issues specifically, obviously the leader of the Green Party, and you know we've heard of, you know, I've heard you, I've followed you for years, of course, uh, and seen how you, you know, campaign, you know, talking about different green new ideas, whether it's to help the economy, fix health care, work with the environment, etc. Those are all things. Is that what you see as the Liberal Party is lacking enough green initiatives? And do you think that may be sort of some of the special sauce that's missing to try to either a come back to party status or b power? You know, I can't speculate on on what Liberals are thinking right now without having that conversation with folks. What I remain focused on is fighting for the issues I've been fighting for as the leader of the Ontario Green Party. Some of the issues you mentioned, like how do we position our economy to be a leader in the fast growing climate economy so we can create the jobs and pr prosperity we need to invest in solid, good public health care and education and social services? How can we continue to keep pushing to address the housing affordability crisis that so many people are facing right now. And what I want to talk to people all across this province about is, you know, how I respond to this letter and how I can best fight for and push for the issues that I care about and that I know they care about. Okay, I guess this is a story that's going to be continued in a conversation we can hopefully pick up on as well. Let's Green Party leader Mike Schreiner joining us live on CP24 Live. And thanks for the time. Take care, Dick.